For the latest entertainment news, check us out at www.yorkentertainment.com. El Salvador, gentlemen. Right on schedule. Okay, you know the drill. We got 45 minutes to run the target. Move out. Mira. Mira. Te voy a hacer hablar.
you guys wouldn't happen to have a light, would you? Oh, 
hell is a tourniquet? <laughs> What's up, guys? I don't see anything. Maybe they're out of ammo. Don't count on it. How you doing? Burns like hell, but I'll make it. Who are you guys, anyway? Navy SEALs. You're Jerry Patton, or we got the wrong address. <sighs> you can move my cover. I don't know if you know it, but this warehouse is worth over a hundred million dollars in pure cocaine. What's the CIA doing on a drug bust? <laughs> this political connections. What's the Navy doing on a drug bust? Saving your ass, sir. Sammy, I can't see anything from my position. If the side door's clear, let's use it. Hey, snap it up, guys. We got a submarine to catch. Let's go! Side door! <laughs> on his way. Ride. Kill those lights, man, so we're not out of this yet. Okay, Betsy, time to make Daddy proud. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Make sure that you call me as soon as you get checked into the hotel, because you know I can't sleep at night unless I talk to you. Well, if I forget, you call and remind me. <laughs> Come here, you. You gotta go, honey. See you when we get back, man. yourself while I'm gone. Don't make me divorce you before we even get married. You don't forget to call me. I will.
time you giving your seminar, Dad? Uh, nine o'clock at the convention hall. But tomorrow we don't even have to leave the hotel. They changed the schedule from the college to the hotel banquet hall. This is great. You know the carnival starts tonight. This is great. I travel thousands of miles to talk to a bunch of investment bankers, which is what I do every day at the brokerage house. Come on, you'll have plenty of time to enjoy the beach. <laughs> I hate the beach. I know. Please try. See how beautiful this is? This isn't bad. Jackie? Not this time, Lieutenant Leitner. Captain Wells here. Union Squadron to report to command headquarters immediately for a debriefing on Operation Salvador. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. No, nothing, honey. They're just getting us to the carnival. That's all. No problem. Take it easy, honey. Take it easy. Move! It's rough. Get him out! There's been a recent series of abductions of wealthy businessmen in Rio de Janeiro over the past, oh, eight months. The deal is hostage for ransom. It's not new. It's nothing original or inventive. But apparently a certain criminal element in Brazil has decided that it's easier to kidnap the president of a world bank than it is to rob it in the old-fashioned way. Jackie. <laughs> you knew. Not exactly, but I had an idea she was in danger. That's your sixth sense again, eh, son? Your mother, God rest her soul, she used to say it was a gift, these premonitions of yours. <laughs> when you were a small I boy, need the I details on Jackie, Dad. That's why you're here, Max. At ease, son. Sit down. Yes, sir. What's with the animal masks? These kidnappers got a sense of humor? No, it's carnival time down there. You know, costume parades and what have you. Max, Jackie and her father are being held for ransom. This is the first time an American's been abducted. The last time they kidnapped the president of the Bank of Brazil. But they let the hostage go. So until the payment is made, Jackie and Mr. Marlin will be kept alive. However, afterwards, we got no way of guaranteeing their safety. Once these guys get up, Big chunk of cash in hand, plus the money from the other crime. Sir, 
Uh, yes, yes, Max, I can see that there's no way to keep you from going down there, short of court-martial and imprisonment. <laughs> then I'd just have to worry about you escaping and going down there anyway. Can I pick my men, sir? No. There'll be no men, and there'll be no government involvement in this. However, I've made certain arrangements. We're going to run this thing through the CIA as Operation Shadow. You'll request a 30-day leave of absence to take care of a personal matter. When you go to Brazil, you'll be traveling on a civilian passport. There will be no military involvement or backup. These photos of the crime scene were taken by Luis Mendez. He works as a freelance Brazilian journalist, but he's also an undercover CIA informant. He's your contact man. You're an American news reporter for Political Times magazine here in Washington. It's a CIA front. You've gone to Rio to consult with Luis on a series of news articles regarding the outbreak of kidnaps for ransom. And remember, we never had this conversation. Good luck, son. Nice entrance, Luis. You know me? I thought I was undercover. Your cover's blown. I saw your file photo in Washington. Weren't you supposed to meet me at the hotel? Bueno, Joao, vamos voltar al aeroporto. The gang left Rio. That figures. Where are we off to now? To Caucas. To Caucas? Where's to Caucas? It's a little town in Venezuela. Uh, my informants tell me that the gang is hiding up there somewhere in the hills. Don't worry. I booked us a plane already. Ah. Wasn't that the hotel? Change in plans. What change in plans? Well, you're not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. So the hotel was a decoy. Cool, eh? Yeah, I guess you're right. Hotel's a little high profile. Let me guess. We're camping out. Uh, correcto. Give the man a Venezuelan cigar. Explain something to me, Luis. With all this information, why haven't you guys gone after the, uh, what do they call themselves, the Grey Wolf Gang and put them in prison? Oh, who's you guys? You know, you guys. You and the CIA. Well, because up until now, no Americanos were ever taken. And it was always a, a local matter. Then why gather all the information? Because that's my job. I have surveillance. I'm a watchdog. Ah, a watchdog. So my father arranged for you to watch me, keep me out of trouble, while your guys go after the kidnappers. Not exactly. Look, Luis, I'm not messing around here. I'm going after these guys with a vengeance. Anybody who gets in my way, I'm going to rip their head off. Nothing is going to stop me from rescuing Jackie and her father. You got it? You with me? I'd love to be with you, but they don't let me do anything, my friend. What the hell are you talking about? I read your file. Martial arts expert. Weapons expert. Military commando. That's the problem, Max. All they let me do is take pictures, spy on people. You know, first... It was the communists, and that died down, and then there's the uh, drug smugglers, and uh, you believe I'm still getting memos to find escaped Nazis from World War II. Forget all that junk, right? Your orders are to watch me, right? Right. So, stick by my side, and you'll finally get to see some action, pal. Ah. Ah. Huh. 
Good to see you again, Mr. Marlin. I've seen you somewhere before. Have you? Bobby Rico. Not the stockbroker who embezzled all that money from your father's company. You have a very good memory, my dear. That was, God, ten years ago? Let's see, uh, you were going to school in Europe. My boss is pride and joy. Right, boss? I heard you jumped bail and escaped to Brazil. I don't believe it. Believe it. That, uh, Brazilian no extradition jazz, well, it doesn't work anymore. So I had to find a new business. Have hostages, we'll travel. Like it? Sick, Rico. No, 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 no. Got a slight substance abuse problem. Actually, I'm just a dope addict who loves other people's money. How much? How much what? Money! Slow down now. You're stepping on my line here. I'm supposed to say, your money or your life. Let's start with, say, uh, 50 million. USD. 50 million dollars, she's crazy. I heard that. I can't raise 50 million, Rico. Yes, you can, Marlon. Do not insult my intelligence. Huh? I was your top broker, remember? Bruno. Do your thing. Yes, sir. Smith and Marlin Wall Street Brokerage. This video is your first introduction into the new game, Your Money or Your Life. As you can see, Mr. Donald Marlin and his beautiful daughter, Jackie, are being held hostage somewhere in South America, a very large continent, so don't try even to locate us. Now, the rules of the game are simple. You give us $50 million in pay to the bear U.S. Treasury notes, and we give you back the co-founder of your company. Do not cooperate, and these two will die a slow and painful death in a water tank full of Amazon River piranha fish, famous for eating their victims alive. My informant, she's very reliable, a prostitute. She said that she and a couple of her girlfriends, they were blindfolded and taken to one of the Grey Wolf hideouts to uh, have sex with the leader. They were paid very well, she said, but they didn't get the blindfolds off. Luis, let me ask you a stupid question. If she couldn't take off her blindfold, how in the hell she know where she was? <laughs> Lucky for us, when she was getting out of the van, the blindfold came come loose. So she could see a little bit where she was. She recognized the area as somewhere she used to play when she was a little girl. And she said there's a dirt road, some camouflage netting, a little vein. But we'll find it. Look, there, in the ravine. I'll tell you what, we'll go back and get an, uh, an assault team together. No way, pal. Flop you. Set her down.
Bruno! Bruno! Manny's dead. ¿Qué está pasando? Set it over by the tip. Vámonos! Vámonos! Can we get an assault team? Who's Rico? Who's Rico? That's what I just asked you. I don't know. Put it through the computer. Uh, next time, could you be a little bit more quiet? Hey, what's that, loco? You're a crazy man. Hey, what did we accomplish with a single handed assault? Nada, you just took years off my life. What are you talking about? Mission accomplished. We gotta leave, Rico. Hey, we got a lead, Rico, Rico, merda, Rico. Okay, get the assault team. Hey, hey, how 
are the boys doing? Oh, they're fine. What's up? Yeah, I, uh, I got the file on Rico. He's an American fugitive. Escaped to Brazil about ten years ago. Ah, uh, he's wanted on fraud, embezzlement. Uh, got away with millions of dollars on some stock market ripoff. I knew it. I was hoping it wasn't him, but it is. Rico is the infamous Bobby Rico. It's unbelievable. You know him? He ripped off Mr. Marlin's company in the stock market swindle. That was before I knew Jackie. As a matter of fact, that's how I finally did meet Jackie. 14 months ago, to be exact. This guy introduced you to your girlfriend? No, no, no. That was after he escaped. See, I was doing my own investigation years later. And I went to Mr. Marlin's office to talk to him about it, and that's where I met her. So, you're not a Navy SEAL, you're CIA, just like me. Wrong. I'm a Navy lieutenant, all right. The RICO thing, I was doing on my own. It's a personal matter I'd rather not discuss. But this is deep, Luis. This is very deep. Max, I hope you don't get angry. But I contacted my supervisor, and he called your father. About this? About this, about uh, the fact that you're a local Americano who comes down here, nothing with guts and glory and no backup, and I needed to get clearance for the things I need. Don't tell me my dad pulled the plug. No! I don't have to tell you that. It's quite the opposite. He gave me an open line of credit. You know what this means? Yeah. I definitely know what this means. We're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> Where are the guys? Oh, they went into town. Is this your honorable prostitute? Yeah. Hope she's as trustworthy as she is beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. I uh, <clears throat> saved her brother from the Brazilian death squads when he was going to college in Sao Paulo. You know, I don't mean to brag, but uh, I'm like a hero in their family. No, actually, like more like a, a superhero in their family, you know. I think she'd be trustworthy and loyal. Well, it's nice to know that you're the superstar of South America, Luis. Now, all we need to do is put a bug on her. Bug? A bug, you know, an electronic tracking device, a tiny beeper, so we can follow her to Rico's hideout. But she can't know about it. I don't have this kind of bug. The expense account, Luis. Remember? Hey, snap out of it, pal. Don't worry, we'll get one. Okay. Okay. This is the ransom that uh, the Grey Wolves have sent uh, to the office of uh, Donald Marlin for $50 million. <laughs> $50 million? <laughs> this is a copy that my supervisor sent us. Jackie's on that tape. How did you know that? What's the time frame? Ten days. Uh, to all concerned uh, stockholders of uh, Smith Ten and days. Brokerage, this video is your first introduction Ten to the precious days. Ah, nectar of the gods. Like some beer? <laughs> you know what? You have an incredible body. Uh, are you married? Answer me. No. No, I'm not married yet. Yet? Hmm, the plot thickens. Yet indicates a boyfriend, a fiancé, perhaps? Huh? Yes, I'm engaged. And God help you when he gets his hands on you, you son of a bitch. Oh, temper, temper. Let's not make idle threats, my dear. I mean, how's anybody going to get their hands on lovable Rico? Find out scumbag. Ooh, you got a temper. Yeah, oh, now we're talking. Get ah, off me, ah, ah. 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 
Hey, hey, boss! Take it easy. I'm on your side, remember? I'm sorry. Sorry. Tony, come take my place. Tracking device. Good. You know how it works? No. <laughs> they give me a manual and a note saying that I'm finally earning my pay. I guess they like it when they use expensive stuff. Yeah, gives them an excuse to buy some more expensive stuff. You got the bug? Put it in your shoe. Okay. Put it in Lila's shoe. How am I supposed to do that without her finding out about it? I don't know. You're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. Put it in his shoe, Luis. You figure it out, Luis. in 45 minutes. So, you better get this transaction done, Luis. We have a little time. So, uh, why don't you tell me about this guy, Rico? Takes too much drugs and is kind of loco, but he's very rich. Gives me lots of money. Really? So then, why are you doing this for us? You're risking your life and, uh... When we get him, you lose your best client. Max, men like Rico do not live very long. Everybody knows it, but then. So if he pays me and you pay me, then I get double for a short time. That is good for me. Besides, I hate him. He hurts me. Luis, you did not tell him about my brother? Oh, just, maybe I mentioned it just a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. He told me all about it. Now he's a big hero to your family. <laughs> oh, I would do anything, no. anything for you, Luis. Wait, 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 wait. What's with the blue dress? You don't like it? I don't think it's right for tonight. I think the red dress, with the red shoes... Uh envelope, Louise. I'm in a hurry. If I'm late, Rico will beat me. Okay. I'll give you the envelope. Okay. I will give you a bonus if you wear the red dress. What is with this red dress stuff? And the red shoes. Yes, I like it. Are you a freak, Louise? Yeah, you know. <laughs> you should have let me know about this before, Luis. Maybe we can work out a little something on the side. I'm not going to say a word. the highway and away from the beach. She's leading us right to him. <laughs> what do you expect? My informants are the best. It's a shame they're all criminals. Call me 
guys. Have them meet us up here. Lila's on her way back to town. Luis, you and Bolo take the front, okay? Let's go. She's wired. I've got seven days, amigo. Don't worry, we'll find her. I've got another informant on the streets. Compliments of Dukakis police. You know, they don't want these guys from Rio coming up here, so we've got full cooperation. Don't worry. Luis, mm. are there any caves around here? Caves like, like mountain caves? Uh, just a large cave that a gang could hide in. Ah, uh, I... Max, I'm from Brazil. <laughs> I wanted a nice job in Hollywood, undercover. Instead, what do I get? Yeah, Venezuela. Well, I'll do my usual expert job. I want you to make these arrangements through your CIA contacts. If you have any problems, you tell him to call my dad, Naval Intelligence at the Pentagon. Where are you going to be, Max?
There's only seven days left to the deadline, as if the fool has to pressure me. Well, that's it. Well, uh, he asked me how to speed up the payment, but unfortunately, it's not easy to move $50 million. He knows that, Dad. He was your number one broker. He knows damn well what a realistic time frame is. He's out of his mind. He's, he's a lunatic. So we're going to make a phone call tonight. We're going to speak to my partners, and we're going to secure the funds. It's okay. We'll be out of here. Of course, I hated to lose Lila. I mean, she was the best piece of ass I ever had. Then again, there was an upside. I mean, knowing it was the last time I was ever going to have sex with her, I committed her every technique to my mind's eye so I could relive her pleasures in my imagination. <sighs> ah. Good shit, Jose. Don't lose that connect, huh? Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, more importantly, muchachos, Lila spilled. She told me everything. After I chewed off her nipple to make my point, of course. <laughs> Anyhow, there's this undercover American guy coming down here to rescue the fair damsel in distress. <laughs> Should tell you where he's staying? We'll get rid of him. Well, terminating him might not be that easy. Lila said he's one of those commando types. Killer trained by Uncle Sam. What do you think we are? Chop liver? No, not at all, Bruno. That is why you are going to find Hector, and the two of you are going to chop off his head. Secretly, of course. Then feed it to the sharks. I don't want a dead American soldier found down here. That'll create an international incident and uh, stop payment on the ransom. How in the hell do we find him? Easy. Here are my instructions. And a cell phone number I found on Lila. It belongs to some guy named Luis who's an associate of our heroes. No, please, stop it! Stop! <laughs> Play this tape over the phone and we'll get somebody's attention. Go quickly now, my honorable warrior. The 50 million awaits. Got it, boss. Uh, Jose? Here, I need a refill. This time, take that Peruvian Coke and cut it with some uh, China White. Huh? Best of both worlds. I think I'll take a roller coaster ride, huh? Go on. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see the girl alive, drive north on the coast highway to the old road. Go up into the hills and park at the Red Lantern. You must come alone, and immediately. No, please stop it!
Stand there like that. Nice dance, though. You trying to scare somebody? <laughs> hey. How the hell you guys get here so fast? Hey, it doesn't hurt to have an admiral for your father. But we still had to get a leave of absence from our father, the Navy. So we're on our own for this one, Max. You really owe us big time. Uh-huh. So what's up? Who do we search out and destroy? Search is done. Destroy the enemy, rescue the hostages. That's what's up. Let's rock. Take that guy at the stove, prisoner. You guys have him arrest.
Where's the girl and her father? No comprendo. No hablo inglés. You understand me. Tell me where they are and save yourself some pain. Why are you gonna kill me anyhow? Go to hell. Or you're gonna beat your maker of me, amigo. That's a fact. The question is not will you die, but how long it's gonna take you to die. Now we can start by popping out this little eye of yours here. Huh? So let's have a little cooperation, senor kidnapper. The girl and her father are in the hills. You'll never find them without me. You'll let me live and I'll take you there. Okay, that's it. We take them with us. We'll never find them in the mountains without them. Okay, guys, that's it. We take them. Let's go. Get them. Come on. Come on. this from the air, I'll have Flyer take us up in a helicopter. You got that right. You going to come inside? No, nah, you guys go ahead. I think I'm going to take a walk and look around.
<laughs> so, we meet again. This time's on my turn. Max, can you hear me? Jackie, it's really you. Thank God. Oh. Oh. Where are we? Shh. You probably have a concussion. You've had a nasty blow to the head. Yeah. Okay. Ah. What time you got now, Donald? Five minutes before the New York office opens. Right. We're not going anywhere. They made sure of that. Got a hairpin. What are you going to do? Pick the lock? <laughs> Never know. Stop teasing, Max. I'm scared out of my mind. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we better figure out how to get out of here. Listen, who was it that your men put into Jackie's room? They had his face covered. I don't know. D don't worry about it, Donald. You don't. Just think about keeping up your end of the deal. Well, what about your men? Do they know where you are? No. We got separated, but when I don't show up, they'll start looking for me. Yes, Don. There's a scramble around this thing. What do you think this is? Pay TV? You have 30 seconds. No more. I'll take care of the rest. Make the call, Don. It's Donald Marlin calling station 42. Over. Donald? Is that you, Donald? Yes. It's, uh, is everybody there? Yes. We're all here in your office. Good. We, we can get cut off at any time. So, did you make the financial arrangements? Answer me, God damn it! We need more time, Don. I mean, after all, fifty million dollars is. How much more time do you need? What? Give me that! No more time. Now or they die. One day. You got that, cowboy? Twenty-four hours. Nice friends you got, Donald. Don't worry about it. I'll get the money. Just remember the deal. No harm comes to Jackie. Yeah, 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 Jackie, I know. A deal's a deal's a deal's a deal, right? Quit doing that crap. Why? It's better company than you are. found uh, some tracks headed northwest. Take a look from the air and we'll follow the trail. Copy that. I'm going back to the other chopper and get a rifle so I can give you air cover, Lewis. Don't worry. It won't take long. Over.
Max, what is it? Why do you keep looking at me like that? They didn't hurt me if that's what you're thinking. No, it's... It's Bobby Rico. I think there's something I should tell you. <laughs> Bobby, it is you. Yeah. You know, I figured your old man would help you find the Marlins, but I never expected you to catch up to me. Jeez, Max, you've become a man since I last saw you. Wait, you two know each other? He's my uncle. What? He's my mother's brother. Sorry. Oh, don't apologize, Maxie. Every family has its dirty little secrets. What? I, I mean, why didn't you tell me? Well, I was a teenager when my infamous uncle here jumped bail and became an international fugitive. Then 13, 14 years went by and FBI had nothing. Then when mom passed away, dad and I decided to start our own investigation matter of family pride, you might say. And that's when I met you at your father's office. Dad knows about this? No. He thought I was working for Naval Intelligence, looking for Bobby on another matter. Bravo, Max. Very creative. Yeah. And the FBI had no idea where he was. We all thought you were dead. And I thought I'd never have to tell you, Jackie. You know, it wouldn't have changed the way I feel about you. Touchy. But surprise, surprise. One never knows how the family's dirty laundry will get exposed, does one? Well, listen, time to go, kids. New day, new hideout. Wait! Jackie and I are getting married. Don't you care anything about family? Yeah, well, I haven't been paid yet, Maxie. Well, today's the last day of your ransom demand, right? How the hell did you know that? Never mind how I know that. I don't know, wait a minute. What is this psychic stuff? Uh, what did your mom used to call it you had? The gift? I'm not buying that. You have got to give me your word. You're going to let us go when the exchange is made. I... I can't do that, Maxie. You used to change my diapers. I'm your nephew. Yeah, well, $50 million cuts a lot of family ties. Is that all you care about, money? Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, look on the bright side, Maxie. If it wasn't for your Uncle Bobby, you would have never met the love of your life. So enjoy it while you can. I figure you owe me one. <laughs> yeah. He's crazy. He's gonna kill us. movement about a half mile north to northeast. Set your compass to 38 northeast by 26 northwest. I'm going in for a closer look. Okay, Flavio. We got it. We're going to proceed, okay? Over and out. your fate to die. <laughs> Chopper and pilot goodbye. <laughs> Follow me. Mark, 
Come with me. Get out. Come on, come on. Bruno, you know what to do. Well, this is certainly a beautiful place. Yeah, a beautiful place to die. Here, call the bank, see if the deposit was made yet. I thought you said we couldn't use this because it could be traced. Traced? You are a real moron, boss. In case you haven't noticed, your daughter and her gung-ho boyfriend, my all-American nephew, and probably half the FBI are running right up our ass. Now make the damn call. Miss me? Is it time, boss? You know what to do. Yes, I do. Probably got a crew looking for him. He's a clever boy, so snap it up. Deposit's been made. Now what? Well, we follow the plan, asshole. Call the bank, tell them to transfer the money to our number to count in the Cayman Islands. I mean, do I have to tell you your own scam? Yeah, Bruno. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. We, we've got to do this. I got to make this phone call before Jackie gets back here. Look, she can't know about us, okay? That's just like before. That's our deal. We got to get out of here. Now, we gotta move the money or lose it. You know that. Just honor our secret. Jeez, you're a pain in the ass. All right, hurry up. had it wrong, pal. It was your turn to die.
bank yet? You got me on hold. Ah, stinking bank. Well, come on. Now, wait. It'll take a minute. We don't have a minute. Dad! Jackie, Dad! stay there! We're coming to get you! Shoot, Max. What are you, crazy? He's my nephew. I don't care. It's him or us. Yes, yes, I'm here. What's Dad doing on the phone? This transfer has to be done today. Yes, I'm aware of the banking fees. Deduct it. What's going on, Max? I don't know. Bobby! Give it up! Come down here. We can work this out. Shoot him! Is he worth your share, $25 million? Is the transfer done? Any second. Hey, man! Hold fire, that's the hostage. Cover the road. The, uh, the account number, I, uh, I gave it to you. What? You didn't write it down? Hey, wait a minute. You dirty double-crossing bastard. You're putting the money into another number to count. Hang on, Dad. We'll be right up there. Jackie, wait! Give me that phone! Well, the money transfer from the Bahama Bank to the Cayman Islands offshore account was never completed. So the entire amount's been transferred back to Marlin's brokerage firm. And what about our infamous family criminal, Bobby Rico? <laughs> That's his mother's side of the family. Well, now we know he's still alive. He's back on the FBI most wanted list and the Interpol computer. I've managed to keep Operation Shadow in place. As a matter of fact, your new best friend, Luis Mendez, is on the job. Well... Guess it's back to Norfolk Naval Base for me. Not so fast, Max. I got another assignment for you before we all head for home. Hey, what's going on here? You know what he's up to? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. 